Hi and welcome back to another video of JPlay. Back from my vacation, really feeling relaxed. Was definitely a nice trip, short one, but definitely nice one with the family. And yeah, I'm back with an unboxing video and I really want to dive into Unsettled here, which for my taste and for my experience is quite a massive box actually. Um, and typically I dive directly into the contents of the game board, but in this case there's so much stuff that comes with the game. I believe this might be the first one of one of the few that I really got with actual sleeves. And yes, there are a lot of these sleeves and special size sleeve and basically a whole lot of sleeve. This game is a cooperative board game about um, survival and it's a so-called framework which is this massive box here this is the box which we are most likely looking into and that's the base framework here it comes with two of those planetary expansions or two of those planets here but we also have four more here which i didn't even touch yet they all come with some various difficulty levels so here for example stranos seems to be the hardest difficulty level with four it's, it's reddish um here i don't know what is this one here oh siren also a, black, a red one so a lot of different um planets to explore later on um we have yendral here we have kalia what kale kaylee foss i don't know what those are but those are basically the challenges that you can meet again the core box comes with two planets right off the bat so there is a i would say a introductory planet i have not played this game yet um i basically went through the rules so far at least i try to it seems relatively complex to some extent but on the other hand also intuitive enough that i believe that when you start playing it you will get the gist of it so yeah i think why not let's have a look inside the base framework box here and yeah let's see what comes with it because the components in here are also insanely great okay and here we are i managed to put this out of the box and that's it's quite a heavy box not quite as heavy as gloomhaven but coming somewhat close yeah again it's a massive box uh, let me see if i can open it yes i can so let's put this over here so we have some i think it seems like a player guides so basically what do those all those icons mean and they're really a ton of icons obviously then yeah we come with these awesome awesome game trays which i absolutely adore and you can simply put them in here so more game trays here this is for all your materials so when you move them up and down so if they're ready or available to you then you put them down here for example into your database into your stockpile for, un uh, for the materials, we have power icons where you have to, it's really, I mean, these trays, pretty sure most of you know, those are extremely or exceptionally well. Some more here. These are some um, tokens for the planet, I believe. No, that's for the um, robot here. I keep forgetting the name of the robot. Is it Luna? I can't remember right now. Then, yeah, more game trays. This is then for those opportunities on those planets, again, all massive stuff and i'm pretty sure extremely useful you can put in those planet tokens here which you can explore later on um and yeah you have then awesome looking components later on for all of those um yeah opportunities which will be then we have two of those um planet boxes here i will look at those in a minute so here we have winora and i think this the starting one it seems to be rather easy cool thing is all of those even come with um not just one task series i think they always have two or three or so as far as i can recall here's the second one and that is krakis it's a little bit more challenging it seems and i think mm, overall with this base box here alone you should be fine playing this game a multiple of times actually but yeah we have more and maybe i need to change the focus here a little bit and yeah here we have some player boards these are not really game trays anymore but they are dual layered still something i really 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 enjoy in the game like this so for all of those player colors here green blue purple then we have yeah we have some standard tokens so here we have the different versions of the ship i 
think they are double-sided. Yes, you can use them basically with a special ability of some sort, or you can basically flip them to the other side, then it's a standard ship. That's a scarab. These are some hmm, yeah, player abilities, I would say. So you could be an altruist, you could be the caretaker, you could be the intellectual, the leader, uh, yeah, the empath, the salad, non-conformist. So I could imagine not all of them are really great or helpful for the crew, but that's something I really like about in a game where you can also make some unpopular choices, especially in the core version. That's a one piece I really like in Gloomhaven, for example, where mm, sometimes you really say, hmm, I do not worry too much and I will go for my life goal. Before I help my friends here, for example, I need this pile of gold or whatever or silver. So something I really enjoy in a game like this. And yeah, these are some of the tokens. And then, yeah, we have some more, more plastic components. Really, really massive dice. You're not rolling those dice. So in case you were hoping for me doing another playthrough or failing miserably at rolling those dice, so that's not one of those. So we will simply flip them. So they are more or less counters. Here we have some more uh, smaller dice, but even those dice are not being used. Um, these are simply some trackers, also nice plastic tokens, um, some more dice. And I think, oh no, I think these ones are getting rolled actually. I think this is when you are searching for data and or material. So yeah, we well, might see me rolling some dice. Really massive miniatures, um, very standard ones, but I think they are all in these life suits, so no wonder. So there is no real personalization other than the color, but I will take that. Some plastic tokens for data and material, and I don't know what those white ones are right now. And here we have those. Wow, these are massive opportunity tokens, so really some acrylic tokens which you put then later on on those planet um, tiles which then shows you if there is an opportunity for you to pursue and I think that's basically the contents of the core framework but again with the core framework on its own doesn't do you anything you really need those planetary boxes so yeah let's have a look inside the box of Venora and you will be surprised you will see some more cool looking components here so some more generic tokens which are then really specific for Venora, we can meet some glow frogs, we can slurp gerblers, botanic crystals. So we can basically find all those things on a planet then. Yeah, we will have some more game trays. I mean, how awesome is this? This pile of, um, yeah, I don't know, huge cards. And this is where those huge sleeves are coming in, by the way, is um, basically your exploration. So it's some sort of a dungeon explorer to some extent you are really actively exploring the planets you're on so you're and by doing so you have to then um basically get through some of those tasks here again in this core game or in this first plan i think there are three task series which you can do and each of those consists of two or three four tasks i really can't remember right now i read the rules a week ago before i went for vacation but that's how it goes you have to go through a series of tasks and ultimately you have to go through these you have to explore stuff i think you have to find some of those things do stuff with it and then make it back to the scarab your ship before you are uh, basically all of you are exhausted and then yeah you will automatically lose the game if no one makes it there one player can get exhausted all the other players can then carry the player back to the scarab this still counts as a win as far as i understood um but how everything fits together and what is basically on some of those cards i really have no clue of course there are some examples in the rule books and why not let's let's open one of those boxes here and i think i may stop here for a second because i don't want to end up in a mess here and yeah these are those environment cards for venora so this is the stuff that you will explore i'm really not sure if this is now spoilery or something though this game is really designed to be played over and over again though there is not really this overarching campaign based story it's really more like a sandbox game which is something i prefer if you follow my channel for some time actually so i like sandboxy kind of games uh, but a lot of these especially for venora are 
pictured in the rule book so i think some of those might be familiar if you already have whatever seen or looked into the rules then yeah we have some engagement cards here some hallucinations and stuff that can happen and this seems to be pretty unique stuff something i also like it reminds me a little bit of eldritch horror with all those conditions it's the same condition but has different um effects later on then i I think we have some of those opportunities here. You can meet those screaming glow frogs and then you can grab those. Then I think these, yeah, these are the survival tasks. Actually, these are the things that you need to do. So this is a, the blue one, the green one and the yellow one. So yeah, there are three of those task series in each of these planets. So even the core planet, the standard planet can be played at least three times without getting bored. But I'm pretty sure you will be able to play each of those more than once. And then yeah, we have some of those status cards, um, some lunar cards for the primary functions. That's also planet dependent. So Luna is the robot here, um, which seems to work differently depending on which planet you are. So really nice back full of surprises actually um i will not open these for now and yeah of course we have again these game trays and these are doubles and i think um depending on if you're using uh sleeves or not this is basically the extra tray they put in if you don't use sleeved cards that is so if you sleeve them i think you have to toss it away and this really would hurt actually it's a massive i mean some of you may know these um trace here our game trace from from other games so really throwing these away this will definitely hurt and yeah that's pretty much my messy unboxing of unsettled looking at one of those planets here venora and some of the core or base framework components here let me know if you want to see this game on my channel as early as possible then i will consider doing a learning video basically learning the game together with you to some extent yes i will read the rules and definitely more than once but expect some errors and totally stupid decisions if you say i can wait play it first a couple of times before you dare to show it on your channel then that's fine for me too i'm eager either way if you want to do me a learning video i'm all for it i could start basically today tomorrow i don't know but let me know and yeah, just let me know and I will consider doing a playthrough rather sooner than later. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos. Before I forget, huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members out there. Really do appreciate all your support. And yeah, with that being said, again, hope to see you soon. And until then, bye bye.